Well, I'm not sure why I picked a rainy day to get this done, but I've been putting this off too long, but I'm gonna get to it today. Now I've got some uh, replacement uh, patio awning fabric uh, to install, and I picked this up from uh, Tough Top Awnings recently. And I'm gonna attempt to install this all by myself. You know, typically it's nice to have a helper, but I've never done it before. And uh, I did get some pointers and some tips from Tyler himself over at Tough Top Awnings, who did uh, help me install these uh, slide topper awnings. And uh, he also showed me how they actually made them. So we actually watched uh, them make these. And I wanna show you that. We'll attempt to get this installed before it starts raining too hard. So, wish me luck. I thought I'd add just a little bit of a uh, lubricant and spray it on the inside of the old awning here just to let it seep into that track and maybe it'll make it a little easier uh, to pull that uh, old awning out. And it is starting to rain a little bit so I'm going to just let it sit for a few minutes and uh, I'll talk to you more about how we got the, uh, the slide toppers installed. It's actually a pretty easy job. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> She'll lock this sucker down. Well, it is actually a pretty easy job, and uh, Tyler walked me through. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Well, I was pretty excited to, to actually watch them make the slide top runnings that were going to go on my RV. And the first thing that Tyler did was to show me how to measure these awnings uh, so make sure you get the right fit. And it's just basic measurements uh, from inside the end cap from one end to the other and typically subtract a couple inches on each side. Or you could just measure the, the old awning itself, either way. But uh, Tyler went ahead and measured it for me and just to make sure that I didn't screw it up. And then we went inside the shop and I got to see uh, where they basically uh, measure and cut and sew and package up these uh, these awning uh, orders all day long and they just crank these out all day long and they do a great job. Now they also use a single ply piece of, of fabric. Now it's a heavy duty vinyl fabric which is different from what I had and these old uh, awning fabrics are actually a two ply so once they start cracking from the sun and moisture gets inside it just starts kind of eroding the inside and mold and you know just starts to to really uh, fall apart after that over years uh, the water never really gets out and it just starts to do damage from the inside out and that's what I've seen with mine I've taped it up all over the place to to patch up these holes you know the fabric that they have is just one piece one ply and it's uh and it's probably going to last a long long time and i'm pretty happy with uh, the color we went with we went with um with gray and you know i i don't like these multi colors with the lines and stuff on them i like the fact that they have solid basic nice looking colors so i watched tyler as he uh, went ahead and installed the first uh, slide topper And I picked up some tips along the way and then I went ahead and uh, attempted the second slide topper on my own while Tyler watched me. I was glad to have him around because in the end I really did need his help to get the job done. So I really appreciate that Tyler. So what I'm going to do is remove the old awning fabric 
in this direction I'm gonna go ahead and and cut away the bulk of this uh, fabric but before I do that I need to to lock the other end of this roller this one's already locked it's got this lock on it so I need to put a pin in the other one and I have this uh, tiny little Phillips head screwdriver that's gonna work just fine Now I want to take some pressure off of the awning and just let it hang on the side of the RV. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this arm and uh, just let it, uh, let it kind of slowly drop to the side of the RV. I can do the same on the other side. All right, well now um, both sides are locked. I'm gonna take uh, my favorite sharp knife here and cut away the fabric all the way across and let, the, uh, let this roller just kind of fall to this point here. Wish me luck. All right, well now you can see all I need to do is basically remove the top of that uh, support arm. And both uh, set screws on either side of the awning. And it should be able to just pull it off. All right, now I can remove the tension on this spring after I remove this little screw here. And uh, yeah, then I can pull this out and we can put on the new fabric. All right. Take that, wiggle this out, drop that down. I'm gonna put my vice grips on here. Make sure I got it nice and secure. All right, there we go. Oops, just see if I can, okay, it's this direction. So I'm gonna unwind it towards the RV and then wind it back the other way, counting my revolutions. So there you go. Release the lock. One. Two. Looser, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So yeah, we'll go with 14. Now I can remove these rivets, pull the spring out. Now before I pull the, uh, the assembly out, I wanna mark a spot here, maybe right there, a couple of marks. So I know where to line it up again when I put it back. Here's my spring assembly. Now I placed part of the arm over there behind those cinder blocks to give me a little bit of leverage. There I go. Now before I take it completely off, I want to mark this track here. Just give it a number. Just going to give it a line 
here so I know that this is the track where the main where the main bead goes. Alright, I'll put another two here just so I know. Alright, a couple of marks. So I know where to put the new awning. I'll also remove the old strap. Now I don't want to have to uh, remove the tension on this spring, but I don't want this uh, this pin to fall out either. So just for safekeeping, I'm going to just tape it down with some duct tape anyway. So that should be fine. Now I can remove this. There we go. All right, well, I figured now is a good time to clean and lube all these tracks before I put the new fabric in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all the tracks here and then also clean the track up at the top of the RV. So as it turns out, I had to go ahead and remove the other side of the roller tube anyway, which is probably the safer thing to do. But uh, the reason I had to do that is because I realized that there's still a piece of this uh, rubber stuff inside the track here and there was no way to really get it out without removing this cap. So I, I removed the tension on the spring just like I did on the other side and removed the pin and now I should be able to just remove this and set it aside and it'll actually make it a lot more easier to work with anyway. Okay, well I think I got everything uh, cleaned up here in the tracks. I got everything bent out of the way so there's no sharp edges. Got the end taped off a little bit because there's a little bit of sharp edge on that. And I think I'm ready to get the new fabric slid in there. Now this is the part of the project where it probably would be really nice to have a second set of hands, but I don't, but I'm hoping that once I get started, I'll come up with a system that works. So let's go. All right, <laughs> as I suspected, this part uh, is a little difficult for one person because I just can't push it through and pull it through at the same time. It kind of has to be going at the same rate. Uh, so you need another person to pull and another person to push. So I'm gonna go get a little help. Just keep it lined up, so it, it slides, up like that. so it slides in as I pull it. Okay. Okay. All right. Lift a little bit. Okay. Well, I definitely needed an extra pair of hands on that one and I'm glad Melissa was around to help me out uh, because had I tried to really force that on my own, I would have probably done some damage to the fabric and 
and regretted it later. <laughs> but the only thing left now is uh, to put the springs back and retension them. I got to rivet them down first, and then uh, we'll reattach them to the arms. Oh yeah, I got to put on this new uh, this new pull strap too. So I'll do that before I put the uh, spring back, and yeah, we'll be pretty close to done. All right. Well, there's one track here that uh, doesn't have fabric in it, so that's the one that that the pull strap is going to go in. I'm just going to feed that in here. Slide it in there for now. Get it out of the way, and now I'll, I'll grab the spring. I'm just going to line it up with the mark that I made last time, which is going to be about. Two down. All right, this towel here. Keep that from scratching it up. Now let's do the other side. There's a mark there. So that's gonna slip in this way, I think. There we go. All right. 14 times in this direction towards the RV, which I think is the opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, oh. I'm getting a little tricky. 12, 13, oop, don't come off. 14. Opposite direction, 14 times. Right there. Okay. 
Well, not everything goes as planned. I mean, it's raining again. In fact, it's been raining off and on. And what I learned from this project is, yeah, you don't want to try this on your own. It was definitely not doable for me anyway, but I did uh, pick up a couple of tips that I wanted to share with you also. Um, and one of them is uh, the, the fabric here. When you do get it, it, it you know, it's folded partly. So you may see some folds in the fabric themselves or little, you know, creases where the ends were folded together. And that's really not a problem. What uh, Tyler said to do, and this is what I'm going to do, is, is just unroll it. And especially when it's, uh, when it's sunny out and with a little bit of sun on it and a little bit of heat, all of those uh, wrinkles and folds will, will just disappear and, and it's just normal. So that's how to deal with that. And the other tip has to do with the, uh, with the, the strap. And I never knew this because it always happens. Uh, if you have a longer strap, uh, what can happen is that if you leave it on the end here and roll it up inside the awning, you can end up with a bulge at this end. Or when it's windy and you have a little extra hang in here, that wind just like wraps that against the side of the RV and it is so annoying. So the tip to, to get around that is, is pretty easy. You just move, just move this strap closer to the middle as far as you need to. And then when you roll it back up, you just gradually put it at an angle and then run it all the way to the end or as close as you need to like this. Look at that. It rolls right up to the top and it's just about an inch or so and it's not going to bang against the side of your RV or create that bulge. So really cool tip. I'm going to definitely put that into practice. Now, if you want to get a set of awnings like this from Tough Top, I'll leave links below in the description. And also there's a discount available. So be sure to check that if you're in the market for a new awning. And I hope you got something out of this project. I know I sure learned a lot and a lot of it was what not to do. So take it easy and I will see you in the next one.